What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire of the War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode we are laying siege uh, to the only territory the Marathas actually hold outside of India. And we're going to take Lisbon. If we do, that will be super useful because it will give our uh, navy an ideal place to base out of and potentially get some more prizes. But without further ado, let's crack on. The enemy has a lot of cavalry so we are going to want to thin them out um, so they don't cause too much trouble when we assault. You only have one howitzer, so we're going to want to play this uh, a bit careful, a bit carefully, um, because we don't, we don't yet have quick climb. We do have carcass shot, which is kind of good. It's sort of a poor man's quick climb. Um, it'll do in a pinch, but then again, against cavalry, lots and lots of round shot may be better, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if I were a betting man, I would wager they are in the centre. All those horsemen are going to be sat there as quite a juicy target. And this is taking surprisingly long. Come on. Push. Push a little bit more. I've not got anything running that should cause this to take quite so long. This is really slow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, seems okay. At least it's not raining. Let's get the artillery set up. Probably going to make just the one breach. She might. How does need to be more in the center? Put artillery deploy off to one side. It's three infantry. Actually, you. Okay, I think this is going to be my assault division. Or my assault units. Everybody else. You can attempt to push the back corner. Keep the cavalry in the woods for now. Just to stop them from being engaged. Okay, so you men engage here. Oh, it says. Yes! Parker shot the centre. So this should do, should do some damage. Oh, they're starting to try and engage us. Okay, we're gonna let we're gonna let our how it says work on the enemy. They're shooting back at us, but it appears that they are aiming at their indestructible unit here. They are landing nearby us. And then, however, we are making our breach, so I don't think they're going to be able to stop us unless they get very lucky. But let's speed up time, because right now it's just a bit of an artillery battle. And these mortars are advancing towards us, because they're out of range. More kind of shot. That was, that was a pretty largely ineffective salvo. Okay, we actually use round shot. Engage the general's bodyguard just to rely on that increased rate of fire. and try and work on effectively pinning the enemy inside. We aren't going to want to be... Ah, oh, here comes the rain. We aren't going to want to be pushing in too hard. Actually, this will get you guys some uh, experience as well. There we go. One experience chevron. So now they will load a bit faster and be a bit more accurate and do a bit more damage. I mean, I suppose it probably... Well, I was about to say it might be more effective. That killed four elephants. But yeah, I'm probably... going to look to create a... defensible position. Pikeman can cover here. And let's get two units over towards the wall. 
because we're about to make our breach. Can you manage to get back to Carcassonne for a couple of volleys? Shells inbound. There we go. Yeah, we're going to do that as we push up with our troops. And these troops are going to run. Because now the guns are fired, we want to clear past them pretty quick. Let's probably push our cavalry up. Our artillery will, in future, just start to bombard the breach. Because I do want to lure these guys to commit. I can get you guys into the action as well. That'd be pretty super. So you... Get a colonial line to block off one entrance. Colonial line to block off another entrance. Get all my artillery to work on the breach. And yeah, more casualties. But the intention is, if I scale the walls, I might force them to try and charge me. So, Muscum and Auxiliary get up here so they can shoot down in. Put my native Auxiliary up there as well. Home and Auxiliary scale the wall. Mercenaries scale the wall. Everybody just scale the wall. And because it's raining, we're getting some shenanigans. There we go. It looks like here they come. Yeah, they are coming out to try and get us. Sadly, because of the rain, we are getting some issues to do with um, sound. But pounding the enemy. These chaps can just load and fall. Oh, just killed our own guy. I watched him get his head taken off by a cannonball. But these units are upset at our push. So the idea is my pikemen here will slaughter them if they try and route this direction. You guys may not be able to make it up here in time. There we go, we've taken the wall. Perfect. Okay, shattered. The 43rd are only broken. starting to commit but I want to keep attacking the centre where all their cavalry is. That's where their strength is. These men just... Who are you? What happened to you? Oh, the Dragoons fired into your back. Fair enough. Ranged cavalry. I wasn't hot on that. Okay, here comes the unit of Bargier Lancers. Nope, they're pushing up. The Bajir infantry are pushing up, so let's try and engage them with native musket auxiliary. Okay, good, they came back. Let's get this infantry unit back where they belong. Fire at will. Get my howitzers to engage the breach. My natives are routed already. Very poor showing from the native auxiliary there. Cover the cavalry. Oh, good hits. If you men push through, you will just get mobbed by cavalry. So let's not do that. What happened to you? Interesting. Very interesting. So these men just form. Too bad I didn't get it off in time, but they are just going to charge the Bajir infant. The, um, my pikemen, so that's going to cause them some mischief. Let's 
skirmishes will likely be engaged by the enemy. Form up and just pour fire onto them. The Gurkhas are pushing up. Just really want them to commit their cavalry. Okay, you men run this way. You could push in through the gate. Cavalry push up. Cavalry pursue the enemy. You men cease fire. But, you know, keep going. Keep going along the line. Actually charging down the slope towards us. You men get involved. Where's my cuirassier? My native troop, the troop going to try and engage. Auxiliary try and engage the Hindu warriors, but they are coming in en masse. I mean, yeah, you men just stay where you are, because you will be able to fire down into the combat. Native Bowman Auxiliary push up. That's them dealt with. You guys keep killing the pikemen. Push the pikes in, cease fire the artillery. Form the infantry up behind them. Like they are going to come in. Form ranks in front, or just counter charge the enemy cavalry. Bargier lancers will go down quite quick. Bring these guys over to try and try and support the auxiliary frontiersmen. They're going to get here, then I'm going to run them to the barracks at the last minute. It's a lot of enemy cavalry. You men cease fire. Pikemen clear them out. He's already barged their lances, so they'll go down nicely. It looks like they are going to commit their cavalry. Let's form up my infantry line. Yeah, those guys broke, which is unsurprising. Excellent. They've committed their cavalry. Human keep engaging the lancers. I mean, so you guys get back here. Get back here, they're going to push through here, make a break for the centre. Yeah, the camels have spotted that my frontiersmen are eligible for being charged, but they're not going to get there quick enough. These men coming through the gate are going to have to form a square. Pretty ricky tick. Just get my cavalry in. Kill the last of the Hindu warriors. You men push in. Just keep forming a square. Form square, engage the nomads. Mm. 
native or auxiliary push in. Pikemen are working their way in. Come on, you men, charge the center. Form square. You men knock out the artillery. Actually, no, you're good. Get involved in the center. You men have routed for some reason. You have also routed. This unit, this army is very afraid. You men get up here. So you've come back, but just get in, fire it will off. I mean, I imagine the artillery is causing upset, but not that much, surely. You got hit by fire from the Pindari horsemen. Killed enemy general. Pushing after the camel nomads. You're shaken from artillery fire. You're going to break and run because of those cavalry and the musketry. Yeah, there we go. Push up and block. You're upset or as well. There we go. The Pindari horsemen have routed. Ooh, that was weirdly dicey. Lots of routing. Oh well. Nevertheless, the territory has been taken. Loss of nearly a third of our force. It's a bit bloody. But here's what I'm hoping will happen. They're friendly with us. Peace and trade. Yes. So that, that army has been pushed back. The army that was here. Now we can cement our control over, over Lisbon. So you replenish. Let's build the Iron Master's works. You're 100% Catholic, so just build a poaching in, I suppose, to help offset all the unhappiness from trade. Or from the industry buildings. And destroy this college. Okay, let's send... Let's send a squadron after you. So you've got one, two, three fourths and a fifth. Just send enough to outnumber them. So after Oig and Talba, they're very damaged. But we want to destroy them because they got a army embarked. And I don't want them going anywhere and attacking anywhere. Inconvenient. So instead, we will cut them off. Okay, so four, 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 fifth, fifth, fifth. Group up, get over here. Probably like this. I might just come at them. I mean, they're at half strength with the guns. But we are going to want to definitely knock out mass because the enemy has a embarked army. And we do not want them uh, sailing their troops somewhere inconvenient. Just a second, everyone. Uh, yeah, so our fourths are at full speed. Our fifths are stuttering because they can't go full speed because the fourths are slowing them down. I've said it a few times, I like the idea of having my faster ships at the rear of the formation so they can more readily respond to problems up front. Because if you put your fast ones up front and they get into trouble, it's going to be a well while before your slow ships get into position. Yeah, I'm going to want to knock out, definitely knock out some sails, 
take these ships into our fleet, bring them back, and effectively bring their embarked forces into our uh, custody. So it looks like we are going to get a couple of proper broadsides off against Hildebrand. Actually, unless they cut, unless they try cross our T, but Coronel is going to get the first salvos. Okay, let's try cut them in half, or chop their formation in half. We must sail into the maelstrom. You're going to be in, you're going to be in a good position to engage both those ships with chain. Coronel may be able to do some damage. Right, keep sailing. Okay, everybody. I seem to go into a trend now. Right, decide. Actually, you know what? Screw keeping a formation. Just put some shots into Hildebrand's masts and Alk's masts. Full sail, get in front of Alk. Force them to heave to. There we go. There's the Mizzen. You're going to pummel Alk with round shot. Well, you're probably going to switch to round shot now because you've slowed this one down enough. You're all going to switch to chain, steam straight past, and try and get Coronel in the rear. There's Fuchs bringing up the rear. Fire as she bears. Try getting behind Alk. Well, you may end up pivoting too slowly. Now you're going against the wind. Begin to pivot. Switch to round shot. Full sail. You're going to fire a broadside. Keep turning. Okay, let's just try and bring them down a peg or two. Pivot around again. You guys come around here, cut them off. Keep pummeling. I'll try to get ahead of Alp if nothing else. Good shots in. Try and park yourself right here. Keep going, keep going. You want to still fire chain into boots. It's just you don't want them running away. There we go. Alp has surrendered. Keep pushing ahead. You keep firing just at range. Get a broadside left ready. Get in ahead. You're going to sail straight ahead. We do want to try and get one of these fellows to break. You want to start trying to knock out sails, knock out masts. Or 
Right now it's routing. Order to board. Broadside to pummel the big three. Actually, you keep turning. Keep engaging the fifth. Round shot, pivot. Okay, everybody. Engage Hildebrand. Just pump, just pump shots into the into the uh, body. Chain shot, blast. The main mast is gone. Now all of you guys just pummel the body with ground shot. Kill the brands on fire. So they've put it out, but they've surrendered. Fairly sure this fourth rate's gonna have uh, Fuchs for breakfast. Let's try and see if we can get some shots away. She's round shot. Stop them from going anywhere. Reload. Surrendered. Hurrah! All of those Austrian ships taken and their embark troops are destroyed. Excellent, excellent. They do have another fleet, but uh, we are going to try and recover what we've got. Bring them all into action. Uh, let's, let's see if we can escape. I don't think they're going to come after us because they are already damaged. It's more about if there's... Well, there's no Royal Navy on there to grab it. Unless one of these guys come down. Which they might. Either way, this is why you guys need to repair pretty ricky tick. Um, elsewhere... And finally move these troops against Cayenne. Because they have no one in port, we can sail in, break it, march in, and bring them death and destruction. And secure this South American territory. Add an extra gold mine, and add more spice production. And that's going to be pretty tasty. So let's get cracking and see how we get on. Pretty sure we're going to do okay. We've got, we out we outnumber them. Actually, we might not outnumber them, but we definitely outnumber them, and outnumber them with is a enormous amount of firepower from coordinated musketry uh, training. That didn't make any sense. Right, artillery bombard over our heads. Howitzers engage completely regularly we are advancing we're bringing the battle to them Ooh, we got anyone okay i thought we did collect someone who was a lot you did that was a lot smaller than we are let's keep my militia on the right flank grenadiers and frontiersmen push the left through the trees the cavalry out. They do have reinforcements coming in. The cavalry is falling back. Did I accidentally make you guys shrapnel shot? No, they are trying to shrapnel shot us. Cavalry. Worth suicide charging cavalry in, because those things could do a lot of damage. Keep the this militia unit positioned defend uh, 
our right flank. Actually, might need a bit more than that. Bring over my grenadiers and my frontiersmen. Yeah, push up, knock out their artillery. They've got shrapnel shots. We definitely do not want to keep let them uh, engage us for too long. Bayonet charge them immediately. Yeah, they broke. More artillery to the rear. If we can destroy this artillery regiment, we'll go on and go after the 21st. Come on, the Colonial Dragoons are stood right there. If we can kill them. Kill them, shatter them. Go after the 21st. Retarget the foot artillery to engage directly ahead. Howitzers engage the flanks. Is pushing in to respond to ours. You men can form square, run my cavalry through the square formation. Native troops on the left, they are hidden. Okay, how it says actually both focus on the Colonial Dragoon unit. Cavalry push up. It looks like it looks like they are going to attempt to actually blank us, kind of. Put some pressure on their flank. Light cavalry push in. Twenty seventh regiment charge in. Put artillery engage new units. Excellent. One cavalry unit broken. Now they are hidden. Kill the native bone auxiliary, then we'll deal with them. Quite an important engagement, but I think we're going to win. Advance. And all of you engage the Colonial Dragoons, the last Colonial Dragoon unit. That militia unit will be swept away. Slam home shots with our with our foot artillery. Okay, form the native troops up. Cavalry push ahead towards the enemy general's bodyguard. A bit more aggressive with my right flank. Go after the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's push up against these in, into these hidden troops here. Keep pushing up the line. Team in form square, he'll deal with them. Corner it is. Pivot form against the 74th Regiment of Militia. Look at 
these irregulars have formed up, but they're going to start getting engaged pretty swiftly. There's still a hidden, there's still a unit back here to deal with biolock arm um, citizenry. They're avoiding some of our artillery fire. Broken, shattered, shattered. Push four units up against the armed citizenry. These units come back. Bring the cavalry over. They have a sacred duty to save their, save their brothers. Same with all of you. Get over here, quickly. Hold the square. Hold the square, reinforcements aren't coming. Foot artillery plus the howitzers. See, howitzers can't really shoot anything. Engage the militia! Huzzah! You men might just ban and charge the armed citizenry. Put artillery ceasefire. Huzzah! The militia are gone. My artillery still fired home shots. But I believe the armed citizenry will, will collapse soon. Wavering. Die! Die, you scoundrels. Good, your resources will become ours. Oh, they all got stuck on this, uh, this cart. Cool. That's another very, very valuable territory brought into the fold to support our empire. Obviously, some of their troops have bled. Chase them down and destroy them. We do not want them surviving to raid our possessions. You men replenish. You men replenish. Upgrade the mine. Upgrade the warehouse. Repair the port. Demolish the military governor's barracks. We will be repairing their um, infrastructure. And then this army will probably push on towards Antigua. Some of these naval units will be come, will be uh, deployed to try and engage the enemy, or to prevent the enemy from accessing the sea. Let's try and intercept their colonies. Actually, you are ready to be picked up and deployed. Okay, first attack Dermot Hancock. Yeah, that's an auto-resolve there. Chonk. Chonk again. Make ready to push on towards Nassau. Okay, apart from that, though, things are going pretty well. You are going to get into this sloop here. Oh, it doesn't let me click dragging. Come on. Go and attack York Factory. Hopefully there's no Navy ships. Nope. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, I thought they were, they were going to be within range. This agent can get aboard ship because he's not going to be needed there anymore. But the York, York Factory will fall. You will have to stay here till this territory falls in line. But they will eventually... Well, I suppose this army will take York Factory, then they'll take Agvictuk, then Newfoundland. But at least you've got an army here ready to respond to any trouble. Plus, we've got troops in Quebec. Um, 
yeah, I think right now we want to hit end turn. Barrow's going to be demolished. We're about to get copper uh, bottoms and machine parts. Machine tools, rather. It's going to be pretty nice. Demand? Okay, that's not a bad trade. That isn't a bad trade. Lots of tech that will get us up the list. Up the... Uh, up the tech tree faster and it's tempting to do it but right now they are going well they're going to be a future enemy well you know what because we are not enemies with spain we're enemies with britain and it will secure my frontier in lisbon you know what although the wubble islands is worth a good chunk of change but then again this technology is good for the advantage it will get me you know what let's do it we can always take back the windward islands and also it gives us a possible access to attack Gibraltar through Madrid. Because we have military access. Ooh, the Navy. The Navy. Let's see how Austria responds. Austria's taken France. Interesting. That gives us a whole load more uh, territories we can raid, but that might cause us problems with Britain. Britain's very close. We need to, we need to take out, take, secure the British Isles so we can blockade the coast of the Austrian Empire. Hmm. Marathas is taking out Mysore. They want Hispaniola, they want to offer Baluchistan. No, because you're about to get copper, bottom, copper bottoms anyway. No. They're probably going to... Yeah, they're, they're going to invade us somewhere. Ideally, they'll invade someone else, like they did last time. But I suspect they will go after us. The Ottomans appear functionally unable to push against the Austrians in the east, which is unfortunate. Sweden was also was blockading uh, Britain. Oh, they're also at war with Russia. Okie dokie, how much money have we got to play with? 38,000. Second rate, Rosé. First rate, Thunderer. Copper bottoms, you go on to reform naval administration, not bad. Machine tools onto steam engine. Both of those are very good technologies. Okay, let's get my... Okay, destruction. Pretty sure that's the only new thing we can do. Oh, we can't capture... We can't upgrade York Factory because we haven't taken the territory yet. We will do in time. Um, I just want to make sure I'm... Doing stuff first. We've upgraded one port. We are upgrading. We are building a new gunnery school somewhere, aren't we? There we are. Okay, build a gunnery school. So we need to start upgrading or accessing newer technologies or better technologies. Uh, Europe. You chaps get into Porto. Okay, you can't quite make it. This big stack of ships. They are going to go after these fellows here. And I'm only keeping them together because I can't be bothered with breaking up my fleets all the time. You men get over to Hoffen. So Acheron, recruit an admiral, Murdoch Haven. Let's get two third rates because we need a bit of mass. Let's sí, think, effectively, take our most damaged Austrian new captures, send them back to the Americas for repairs and deployment. 
New man repair, so Lisbon. Let's upgrade our military buildings here in Lisbon. Part of the reason why upgrading these coaching is useful, because that gets us West European mercenaries. Probably another craft workshop, I suppose. BSU repair. We can attack Britain. We can just attack Gibraltar through Spain, which is super handy. Right, I think the only the main thing to do, well, first of all, actually, make sure we upgrade a magistrate here. Upgrade the lumber mill. Actually, don't upgrade the lumber mills. I've got to go and attack here at York Factory first. Actually, let's check. Sorry, I just got. Um, it's just popped into my mind. I want to actually see what my most valuable regions are. Bogota up top, surprisingly. Lisbon coming straight in at number two, and they're very close, and they may actually be growing, growing a 64 turn compared to Bogota's 80. Or no, Bogota's still growing strong. And then Dutch Guyana, where is French Guyana? Eh, it's a bit lower down, but they're going to be growing. Yeah, 60 a turn. They're going to be growing fast and even faster once they get the industry built and the ports upgraded. But yeah, we're, this is starting to get pretty tasty. But let's destroy the British here at York Factory and capture, capture or kill Nicholas Talbot. Because I think we're going to have enough of a hold on the Americas to potentially push straight in and engage. I mean, no. You know what? I'm not going to actually attack Mexico. They have been a steadfast ally of ours. We can always crush them if they decide to break faith with us. Uh, dodgy. Not great. I don't like fighting over those central blocks. It's, it's a bit dicey, although you could. Okay, what I'm going to do... Put artillery form. Howitzers form up. American mercenaries around one feature. Colonial line around another. Whoever has the least resistance will surround and flank the enemy. I may actually keep two cavalry in reserve in case they pull us something a bit surprising charging up through the centre. Generals stay on the right. It looks like my colonial line is the side. This is the side that's going to experience the least trouble. I may actually pull these guys back. Okay, you guys just... Okay, you're wavering you got shot at. Fine. Hey, that actually broke you. Interesting. Engage the tribal auxiliary. Okay, don't... Okay, you guys actually pulled back a little bit. That routing it will probably stop routing. There we go. Advance slowly into the line. Excellent. These troops now just form a line. Oh, they're going to charge us. This regiment engaged Rogers Rangers. Okay, artillery. Ooh, actually, they are responding. They are responding in numbers. Surround and engulf the skirmishes. Keep killing. Good.
There you go, we're here in... We're set up in enough numbers now to see off the enemy, should they try and push against us. And we storm straight towards those... those artillery pieces. Roger's range is always going to be done for. Push the general forward into the first regiment of foot artillery. Advance a bit closer. And you men smash the colonial lights. They're going to stand up here like a fool. You're going to dodge that stake like a champ. Push, push, push. Retarget the artillery because they're starting to engage us with the fire by my rank. Excellent. Gonna lose a few to stakes, but for the most part, they are going to collapse quite catastrophically. Push out my mercenaries. You men charge the line. Push, push, push. Hessian Grenadiers are going down. Recall my colonial light. Actually, no, don't need to worry about killing them. Just get off the mount. Engage the lights, but you're probably going to lose a lot of men. The mines didn't do as much damage as they would have liked. Push around the flank. Advance. Keep on killing. You guys routed. You have. You actually. Well, you might not be shattered. The cavalry is. No, oh, cavalry shattered. Good, good, good. fire. How it says hunt the enemy general. Uh, everyone's going to be engaging the irregulars. There they go. Nation Grenadiers. No, what happened? AVG, go away! No, AVG. Oh, at least it's not a... Uh... At least I crashed the desktop. I'm 54 minutes in. Phew. Okay, you guys. Ooh, hello. Garrison militia. Ooh, my artillery engaged the garrison militia. This infantry is already wavering. And they're broken. Excellent. Kill, kill, kill. So let's speed up time and watch the artillery smash the garrison militia while my infantry form up. Props to them for pushing in though. They're not gonna route they're not gonna route easy. Well, the artillery hits and the volley fire are 
Yep, yeah, no, they've decided against it. Oh, here comes some more colonial line. No, oh, there they go, they've decided to run. Flee into the wilderness. Like the coward you are. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice, nice, nice. York factory's ours. Demolish it. Build a road. But the reason why I demolish these things is that it's just never normally that you never normally that worried about having a really having a military outpost out here exactly. In my opinion, it's just not really worth it. It's not hype your list of things to do. Uh, okay, right, right, right. Three thousand two hundred. Let's. Upgrade a couple of buildings here in Huron Territory, including upgrading the happiness buildings. So hopefully our top general can leave soon. Let's hit enter. Ah, we are attacking Nassau. Ah, maintain the siege for now. If they attack us, then we'll do something about it. But for now, let's let everything that's currently recruiting tick onwards. They demand joint stock company for money. No. I'm not going to give you... Oh, hello. Oh, you. You. Cowardly devils. At the very least, we'll get, a, we'll get a turn. There will be a turn that they land, and then we'll be able to do something about them. See what Austria does, although they appear to not really seem super psyched to do much. Let's have a little bit of copy. I would like to ambush those fleets, to be honest, which I could actually do. Although I will soon start to. Uh... Actually, Austria looks like they might gobble up the Prussian Empire if they're not careful. Ottoman Empire. Let's see if they judder the game to a halt. Nope, that's pretty slick. Oh, Russia's fighting their con war, their continuing war against Sweden. Not that we have to worry much about that. Cool. 40,000. Okay, first of all, fleet arrives. Yeah, you guys, you are just up to no good. You man make repairs. I suppose this army is actually just going to replenish itself. If they come after us, I'm pretty sure we, we will be fine in defense. I just want to let them come to us. You man, so come down to the Caribbean. Okay, let's focus on the mainland for port upgrades. Todo listo. In for repairs. Okay. Repair. Reykjavik. At the governor's mansion, just to get it done. Let's get some... Two second rates. So here we can line infantry guards, grenadier guards, garrison guards, engineers. We're quite. They are very nicely um, upgraded. Lots of. Well, lots of, we lost this stuff. We don't actually have the technology for, but we now actually we can recruit, which is pretty slick. Fifths and sixths. We don't want the sixths. The war guy and the heavy privateers may be useful. We will want to recruit some garrison troops. Let's get something like that. Just get them recruiting. Um, 8,000. Okay, 
who's up here? Rizé. Yeah, it's part of the problem. They're now going to start. They've got a lot of access to a few more ports they can actually recruit from, which I don't like. Bottling them up here isn't going to be a problem. Once this army in Lisbon advances, we take Gibraltar and Tangier, um, but they still have access to the Atlantic through the west coast of France. Well, let's go after the Austrians here. By looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone.